I'm investigating um, how people with vision impairment can access teaching and learning in creative arts institutions at mainstream education. Many students with vision impairment tend to self-select themselves out of doing creative arts because it's such an ocular-centered discipline. Um, so those would be things like fashion, architecture and photography. And society, um, societal attitudes play a great part in how they're perceived and how they want to pr proceed with their own kind of creativity. And sight loss is something that isn't stable, so it will constantly diminish for many people. And that's just another factor why they decide to opt out. However, once they start learning um, what they're doing, they make their own adjustments and they take that forward. So they just need the confidence to get started sometimes. My first research project was just purely because I was fascinated and I met this guy who was vision impaired and he wanted to know how to do my work. And I thought, well, maybe other people want to do that as well. And COVID-19 um, pandemic has brought another strand to my investigation because now lecturers are putting more work online and how do we navigate that with students with vision impairment in our hybrid teaching and learning situation. With vision impairment, we could harness some of these multi-sensory gifts that they have, the way they think, the way they approach things, how they tackle their risk, their, um, their, their disciplines, um, especially if it's manual disciplines as well, whether it's architectural fashion. And I think we need to share because they think in different ways. Just like I'm a dyslexic person, I think in different ways. I do things differently and they bring something new to the table as well. And I think we're missing out if we're not sort of taking all our, you know, community into consideration. Once we get into the mode of teaching in a multi-sensory way, it's challenging, but it's so rewarding.